welcome back. I am really, really excited because it Finally, July is here. I was expecting July so badly that I can't even tell you. But anyways, my weekly makeup basket is gonna change. Totally gonna change. I made a few changes, well, quite a few changes. And it's gonna take a different route because of my makeup purge. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna give you all the details. So if you're interested in knowing all that, then just keep watching this video. Thanks. So basically what I've been doing is doing a weekly makeup basket, but that is kind of good and bad. It's good because it will give me a good impression of some of the products that I will be using for that week. And by the end of the week, I have something to tell you about in my casual Fridays, which by the way, they're gonna stay the same. But I really wanted to do different looks that I have. I have big notepad with the tons of looks that I want to film for you and a lot of them have been just looks that I had on my videos and a lot of you requested to see a tutorial on them. I do have a list and I will get to all of them hopefully <laughs> but uh, I want to make sure that I can incorporate different eyeshadows and different products if I need to just because of those tutorials. So anyways I will be doing this monthly makeup basket where I will show you all the products that I will be using for the month and then I also can add more products from my makeup collection. The products that I have in my basket for this month are products and the ones that are going to be in my monthly basket are going to be the products that I want to finish because I really have just the tiniest bit. Uh, they're products that I really want to decide if I'm going to keep them or not so by the end of the month I will toss them or give them away and also some products that I'm trying to test and see so I can do more review for you guys. So this is more like, I don't know, the 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 products that I really want to use. For example, this month I'm going to be putting all my jumbo eye pencils from different brands and I really want to see if I need them because I love them, I think they're pretty, but I don't use them enough. So is it worth it to keep it? Should I pass them along to other people that, you know, my sister that maybe she used them by themselves and not adding more shadows on top of them or what? I mean, I just really want to see what I'm going to do with these products that I have on this specific basket. So by the end of the month, I will probably do a separate video telling you what I did with all these products, you know, and then just share my favorite ones by the end of the month and my monthly favorites. But I'm sure you'll see, you know, bits and pieces from these products in my casual Fridays as well. So let's go ahead and get started because this one is going to be a very long video. I can sense it. The first product that I don't have right here with me. Yeah, I know. It's upstairs. So anyways, I want to put a picture right here. It's going to be my Maracuja 12 hour foundation. That foundation, I bought it and it's going to expire this month. So I want to make sure that I use it and have a good impression if I like it or not because it's gone expired and I have no idea if I like it, if I would repurchase it or not. So I really want to use that one and probably that's gonna be the only one that I use for the entire month just because it's gone expired. The next one, it's gonna be my Too Faced Beauty Balm. This is one of those products that it's like a very sheer kind of coverage and it has a 20 uh, SPF. So I wanna use it for when I go to the pool for a party or something and I wanna even out my skin tone with a little bit of sunscreen. So the setting spray that I'm gonna be using for the entire month is the Mary Kay Makeup Setting Spray. I love this thing, it works amazing almost out of my second one so I want to make sure that I finish it and I order a new one because I just run out of it. The powder that I'm going to be using, it's a messy powder, it's by e.l.f. and it's the HD powder. I like it but it's way too messy so I'm going to try to find a better alternative to this powder so I want to make sure that I finish it just before I buy something that is going to replace this. For eyeshadows, uh, as you probably know I am being doing a uh, series of videos on the chocolate bar palette and this month it's going to be a series of videos on my naked 2 palette if you don't have the naked 2 don't worry because the colors you can find them in other palettes that you probably have nude palettes that you have in your collection and i will always list the description of each color in the description box so you can find something similar if you like the combination so this is going to be the start of this month this uh, i mean it's been one of the palettes that a lot of people ask me to do tutorials with so really, you know, it takes me a while, but I will get to them. The other palette, and this one is because I want to decide if I want to keep it or not, is the Canyon Classics by Physicians Formula. I love classic nudes, but this one is too cool for my taste. 
so I'm gonna try to do some tutorials with it try to see if I like it enough to do a tutorial if I do I'm gonna share it if not you know I just may share a few tutorials or a, a tutorial but at the end of the month I will let you know if I'm gonna keep this or just pass it along because it's brand new and I feel like every time I do a look I just don't know why but I I'm not too thrilled about it the other palette is this um, Maybelline Eye Studio in Coral Oasis and I had this on a few of my videos that I had on the red couch a lot of people wanted tutorials on it so I will do that tutorial this month another thing that I want to use it is the duo by Pacifica that I got in my Ipsy subscription I don't know why but I don't think it's amazing but I want to use it and see if I want to keep it or not for face primers I'm gonna be using two the first one is this one from L'Oreal this is one of my favorites is the L'Oreal Youth Code Tech texture perfecture pore vanisher uh, this is a 30 day trial and it says that it's gonna shrink my pores so I'll see if that will happen <laughs> for the days that I, I want my, my foundation to last all day and 14-15 hours and sometimes I have those long days I have my prime and poreless this is one of the products that not only fills your pores but it makes my foundation last all day long until I remove it so I wanted to keep it just in case and I'm sadly almost out of it have all my jumbo eye pencils and this little one that I got in my Ipsy subscription I'm not gonna go but one by one but I'm gonna list them just in case you want to know the colors that I have and the info box as well but honestly uh, these are one of the products that I know two of them that uh, I use all the time this is um, continuous almond and I also use all the time my white one from NYX so I do think that these two are you know I feel very comfortable to keeping but the rest I don't know I just don't know I don't use them enough I don't use them as vases I don't use them just by themselves so let's see this month if I can really use them and find a way to incorporate it more into my looks or if I should just pass along the ones that I don't use for lip products I have quite a few <laughs> Uh, this one is from Wet and Wild and this is the color 521A. This is kind of a very daring color, kind of colors that I promised myself that if I was going to keep in my collection, I was going to actually use it. So that's the main reason why I'm going to use it this month in my um, monthly makeup basket. This is a Micah Beauty lip balms that I love. It's matte and I just want to use it because I just want to use it it's a great piece of uh, like layering lip product if you want to call it like that and I, I love it also this lip shine by Jordana this is in the watermelon punch thingy I like it for layering even better then another one which is one of my favorites from Mary Kay this is toffee and I love it that's the main reason why and this is in the old packaging so it's an old product and once again I want to make sure that I use it before it actually starts to taste bad or you know it goes bad on me and finally this one which is like a liquid lipstick from Olme and it's called cantaloupe I think it's a very summery kind of color for concealers that I really want to use, the first one is this one from Hair Candy Glamouflage. Not because it's bad, because I want to find different ways so it doesn't crease on me. I think I got it, but I still want to work with it a little bit more before I recommend it to you and show you how I use it. And another one that I truly hate is this Super BB Concealer. I don't like it. I have a first impression if you want to look at it and see why I don't like it that much. But I've been using it just to highlight this point. So I... I want to use it up just show you my empties that it really sucks other than that no reason for it for eyeliners I have quite a few the first one I'm going to show you is a lip liner and this is like a reverse kind of lip liner from Mary Kay it's clear you apply it outside your mouth so it doesn't bleed and I have some products there that kind of bleed so I thought it would be really helpful then I have the rest are all eyeliners the first one this one because I don't use it enough and this is aqua stone by Jordana it's pretty but I don't use it enough so let's see if I can really use it this month and see if it's worth keeping then also I have this urban decay that I'm almost out one is brown the other end is black I think it's small enough that I can finish it this month we shall see and then this one which is the 12 hours made to last from Jordana this is the liquid eyeliner pencil and as you can see I'm almost out of it uh, so yeah I want to finish it and lastly for eyeliners I have this one from Kayleen that I got a year ago I 
kind of revived it with one of the tricks that I share in a video. I'm going to link it as well down below if you want to see it. This is in purple. I like it and I think I really have to work on finishing this product. Then for um, eyebrows, I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit that I swear I'm going to finish this month. I've been saying it that for a few months now and I can't finish it, but I will finish it this month. And then I'm going to keep this shadow because, yeah, I don't know. I don't use it for my eyebrows, but I think it's pretty as a transition color. And then also I found my Ofra eyebrow pencil. I had it, oh, I have it today and I want to use it a little bit more just to experience and see if it's worth it and if I should look into buying one of these pencils. So far I like it, but I need a month, a good month or a few weeks just to know if I would recommend it or not. For bronzers, I'm gonna be using one <laughs> and just because I've been loving it and I hit pan on it and I feel like I wanna finish it now. This is the NYC Sunny Bronzer that you've seen in my tutorials lately quite a lot because I truly been enjoying it. And then also I have this blush that I wanna finish. This is Mellow Mob by e.l.f. Uh, I've been waiting for a 50% off of the studio line to make an order and actually I wanted to wait because I've heard some new products were coming out so hopefully I will do that order soon and I will order another one of these but I just want to make sure I finish it because I think I had it for probably a couple of years now. My last two products is the first one is this one from the Fergie collection, Wet n Wild Fergie collection in Rose Champagne Glow. This is kind of a pain to use because it's broken but I'm gonna try to use it this month or give it away if I don't feel like going through the hassle of working with this product so this is one of those um, products that we shall see and then finally my MAC Painterly paint pot just because I love it and just because I want to make sure that I use it up before I buy a, quite a few more I want to get two more colors so yeah I'm gonna keep this in my basket so I can use it I, and plus I love it so it's like it's not even you know, necessary to push myself to use it. Well girls, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, monthly makeup basket and uh, I really, you know, like I said, I want to finish some of these products. I want to try some of these products and so you will see them in different ways in this future month of July and maybe the beginning of August because of my filming schedule. But anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you think this is a better idea so you'll see more empties. Even though I have like two bags like this full of empties by now already so thank you for watching remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it and if you're enjoying going through my stuff with me also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see new videos monday through fridays i love you guys and i will see you in tomorrow's video Mwah.